Hey guys, it's Species Sims, and we are back with more Danganronpa 2. Yay! And I think, I think Monaco was coming. <laughs> anyway, uh, just when it seemed like this couldn't get more confusing, it suddenly happened. <laughs> The voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was difficult, but it was different than Yusami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. <laughs> surprised? You were totally surprised! Right? Now then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction! You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park! Could, could it be? This voice! It, if this is... Oh, this is very bad! I gotta do something! You. It's all up to me! <laughs> hey, wait! Very strange. Seems that was an unusual occurrence. Mm. It's best if we go to Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey! Wait! But, but what about everyone who's swimming? Naturally. It's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. He just thunder off. Shit! What the hell's going on? I'd be really pissed off at something fucking stupid. Like you? What is this? What the hell is going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Aww. Ooh, there's just too many Mr. Krabs! Hi. Fine, I'll just step on them later! You crabs better run while you still can. I guess we're gonna leave here. Uh, I don't remember which way we went. Oh, it just automatically takes us there, cool. We just arrived at Jabberwock Park. Yusami's shouting voice can be heard ringing through the park. I won't let you. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? <laughs> eh? Hey, hey. Hey, hey, where are you? Show yourself! <laughs> That's like the greatest moment of my life. I love him so much. I know he's evil and demonic, but he's so goddamn cute. I love him. Oh my god, Monokuma. Why, hello there! Thank you all for waiting! Long time no see, guys! I am Monokuma! I'm the headmaster of this academy! <sighs> Monokuma appears! Ahem! Now that I have made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... Lame. This is so friggin' lame! Lame, I say. Lamer than the lamest lame sauce. Oh, wait. Lame sauce? Is that tasty? Hey, hey. Just as I thought, it was you. But how? Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? Silence. Ah, shut up. Hey, um... I'm livid, you know. And I'm about ready to barf thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just what is with this heart-throbbing school trip crap anyway? I'm bored, so hopelessly bored. Hey. This just ain't fun at all. You better knock off this farce right now. What are you thinking? You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world. Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives. What everyone wants to see is <laughs> other people's misery and despair. You. What the hell is with this stuffed animal? I don't think he's saying makes any damn sense. What? What? What is going on? What is that thing? I won't let you. Again, though, but he, he knows who Monokuma is. He knows who Monokuma is. Is he faking it? Or has he lost his marbles? Be careful, everyone. Stay back and leave this to me. I don't know why Monokuma is here. 
But as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! yeah opening! This is adorable. This is adorable. I hope... I, I hope this doesn't get, like, copyrighted to the point where I have to take it out, because this is adorable watching them fight. It's just... it's so cute. Here I am waiting for them to continue and they're just fighting while I was watching. Okay, that was that was me taking forever. Dun, da, 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 victory! <gasps> oh, my magic stick! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So I'm gonna make you in my image. Uh, is this where we get Manomi? Now maybe that's where she becomes Manomi? This is what happens when you defy me. I'll crunch ya. I'll bite ya. I'll rip you apart. <laughs> Stop it! Oh. Still, Poor Usami. stick isn't gonna shove itself in, you know? <laughs> no! That's a no-no. That's a big no-no. Oh my god. Although, why she has to wear a diaper is beyond me. Like, her little skirt. What? What is this? No! No! I'm not supposed to look weird like this! Change me back to normal! What's this? My, my! Defying your big brother's fashion sense? Is Monomi a little troublemaker? Me? Hey. Big brother? Monomi! My little sister! Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monomi. <laughs> Though it's only an external setting, after all. Hey. Well, why do I have to be your little sister? What? Big sister, then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? I don't like this. Mm, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Call me big brother. So that's how it's going to be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. <laughs> Even the display changed to Monomi. I won't forgive you. Hey, I won't let you make up your own settings. <sighs> Stupid fool. Do you think you can win against me? No. It hurts a lot when you punch me. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. What is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other? That's like completely insane. <laughs> oh, if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten that awful Monokuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on a battlefield. Hey, hey. Hey, it's with a stupid performance. Huh? Wh who friggin' knows? <laughs> but it's obviously. It's obvious something bad is happening. Huh? Whoa, what is this? What's going on? <laughs> huh? huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know. How insensitive. What the? There's more of them? What did you say? What, what does this mean? What is that black and white? Uh, Tanuki? Barret! I'm not a Tanuki. I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! What's going on? I, I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared. I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Yeah, Seriously? I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm Monokuma! The headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy! This is... Monokuma? Huh? Did you say headmaster? Anyway... Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. See, he's totally... Everyone else, Monokuma, he, he looked. It's, it's Makoto. And he's like, Monokuma, why is he here? But he's not going to admit he knows Monokuma. But. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. <laughs> From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? <laughs> a school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. Hey, True. Hey. 
You guys agree with me, right? I do agree with you, Monokuma, and I'm petting my monitor now. I love you, Monokuma. You guys get me. Um, no, I agree. <laughs> Nobody wants to play a game like that. I agree, because I was like, is that all it's going to be? Is, like, super magic happy rainbows? Because that's disappointing. <laughs> I'm awful. Thank you for waiting. So let's begin our killing school trip. Do your best. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. You're kidding, right? The killing contestants. I won't forgive you. Well, what are you saying? I'll absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. Oh. <laughs> Monomi's such a dumb child. Oh, Monomi. Oh, not Monomi. It's Monomi. Ah. Monomi. Okay. But I like, I, I don't know. I'm just going to say Monomi because it's just, I don't know. Jeez, your brain sure is tiny, Monomi. How many times do I have to tell you? Like, Mono Kuma. Mono Kuma. Mono no, Monomi. Mon I don't know. I just... I'm gonna say it wrong, but... Pay attention this time! Except in manga, a little sister's never smarter than her big brother! <laughs> Allow me to explain! Now then, we got off topic for a while. So let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. <laughs> what do you mean, killing school trip? What are you saying? Isn't it obvious? You guys are going to kill each other! No. Kill each other, I see. Are you kidding me? K kill each other? No way, no way, no way! What are you saying? That's impossible! No! Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So I'm changing the rules! Yeah. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends! And then make it through the class trial without getting caught! <gasps> Class trial? That's right! That's right! The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. Allow me to explain! If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by a popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. In other words... Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. <laughs> it's a familiar but simple rule, right? What the heck? You keep repeating the word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Hmm. Oh, didn't, um, what's-his-face get out, too, with the crazy poof? Yeah, you know. Dude... He got out, right? Where'd he go? Like, he's missing too. Okay, I forgot about that. Basically, it's an execution. That is... A execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial. This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. <laughs> what sort of spine-tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it. I'm already getting excited. There may even be some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with a thigamajig claw. That sounds gruesome. Hmm. Ahem. Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning... To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, crushing, cursing. Sing. Please choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's awesomely poptastic. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Damn it. Just don't fuck with me. That's right. 
That's right. Who on earth would kill someone? No way. I'm not ordering anyone to kill. Whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. No, no. But be careful. Youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. I won't believe. I uh, won't believe. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What's going on? W what if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave the island? Who knows? Anyway... I'd like for you all to go through with this school killing trip in a healthy and positive manner. What's going on? Wait just a minute. Why do we have to do this? What's this? Well, it's obvious. There's a reason you all need to kill each other. Eh? Hold on. Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I have no idea. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. I'm gonna do it. What? A fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of that black and white bear? Let's go. Who would dare to, to kill? I'll put a stop to it with force if necessary. No, you. If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience. Fine, fine. Ah, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. Mm. If you guys want to do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Hey. Force? What are you gonna do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness, in accordance with our contract, I summon thee now. Come forth, mana beasts. Oh, oh, this is holy fuck nuggets. I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. <gasps> huh? What Wh is this? Did the statue move? Wrong! That's no statue! They're mono-beasts! <laughs> Blue monster! Hey. No, I just said they're mono-beasts! Strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. <laughs> and that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of the situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. No! No! This can't be! This is just too weird! Don't tell me! Am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> <laughs> a nightmare, he says! He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch! Unbelievable. Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch. If something doesn't fit with your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright. How stupid. Ignorant cavemen are better than you all. I don't like this. Classifying events according to their genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone! Everyone, please stay back. I will protect everyone. I can't move. Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone! Kirk. Huh? What's this? Clark. Uh. I know, this is nausea! Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke! Let's go! It's punishment time! Alrighty, then it's decided! You'll be my example to everyone! <gasps> no! But she's just a cute little bunny wabbit! She wasn't in it for very long. No, oh, bye, buddy. No! This might get copyrighted. He's gonna destroy her. Oh! It just, oh! The stuffing coming out the bullet holes! It's so sad. Ooh, we just got a bullet across the face. Oh, her little bow floating to the ground with all the bullet holes in it is so sad. Huh? What? Whoa. Ah. What is that? <laughs> it's the first stage. Manobi's already dead. What? Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. Sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life-threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster. We were just vastly out of our element. We'd never experienced anything like this before, and had no idea how to deal with it. 
Her reality was very lethal at this particular moment. <sighs> Whew, that's right! This is what I wanted! This feeling of despair! Giving an example is totally the right call! <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Well now. Now then, I believe I've made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy. Cause I'm a bear after all. An excuse like, I got high off this tropical atmosphere. Won't work on me at all. Hmm. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e-handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written. So you better read them thoroughly. <laughs> Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then... <laughs> Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip! After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beast vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. That's... W what just happened? Um... Um, I won't believe. I won't believe. I, I just won't believe it. That that's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> I, I'd be one thing. It'd be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. <laughs> the hell can we do against a monster like that? What's going on? It, it's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? It's certainly possible. Well, it's not really impossible. Those mono beasts or whatever they're called are machines. This monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Then... Who could be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Answer me! Hey, who is it? Who? Uh... <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I believe something like that. Anyway... More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's just stop thinking about this and just eat. Oh... You can eat first? Listen... No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but we don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Ourselves. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. I was just going to say each other, yeah. That creates fear in our minds, and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions, everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we'd also, that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island, which means in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, there's a possibility that a killing may never occur, but even I'm no different. So can I be truly confident that something like that isn't going to happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. The end. Well, the prologue's over after, what was this, like five parts? Four or five parts? Jesus. Do, 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 do. Man, that prologue. Mono Kuma. Oh, but Manomi is dead. Hachime Hinata. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, yeah, it's about time. So, oh, I'm so excited for this. I'm so tired. Because it's late. Wait, how are they getting in an elevator? <laughs> it just showed them in an elevator. Yeah. Nagito. I mean, what's your face? I know you, Makoto. Makoto. But see, the thing is, is so far, the things that he said, like, what, what just happened? Or Monokuma. And like... His shot, he's completely in shock like he wasn't expecting this to happen, obviously. Because I have a feeling that he orchestrated everyone going to the island to gather hope to try to make it, you know, because if after the first one, they, you know, left and they had, you know, they left into and they went into the world of despair. So you can imagine that obviously they want to try to stop that and they want to make the world a better place, um, obviously, because it's Makoto and this little Sunshine Rainbow group. So, I obtained a present! Oh, broken wand, that's sad. Can I give that present to my pet? Yes, I would. Yes, I would like to override it. Oh, we can go through the uh, things. But anyway, so, like, I feel like his, you know, like, he would want to make, do things better. And then if they think of doing the exact same thing, broadcasting, like, hope instead of despair, it would, you know, do the same thing that, like, broadcasting the despair was doing in the first one. You know what I mean? So I feel like, okay, Makoto could orchestrate this and kind of be in control. That would be why Byaku was there. And then somebody else, one of the other people that escaped, is obviously was obviously controlling Usami or Manomi, you know, I would think. But then where are they? Because then they're they're not there, you know what I mean? So I don't know about that. But I mean, I don't know. This is just my guess here is like, so because everything like a quote unquote not Makoto has said, just especially since Monokuma showed up, seemed like complete and utter shock. Like, uh... But what's the deal with Byakua? Like, is he just totally playing along? Like, oh, I'm just going to pretend like I don't know. Instead of being like, dude, what the fuck is happening? Like, you know what I mean? Like, he's totally chill about it. Like, whatever. I wouldn't be surprised if he was behind. That would be awesome if he was behind it. You know what I mean? Just because he's a douche. But I'm just saying. So I'm kind of curious about why is he just acting? Like, pretending like he has no clue what's going on? Because, like, he remembers all this shit from the first one. So he knows what's going down. He's not like, yeah, I'm been there, done that, I got this. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. Okay, so anyway, let's read the rules before we end this part. Uh, so, rule five. Once a murder takes place, a class trial will begin shortly thereafter. Participation is mandatory for all surviving students. If a blackhead is exposed during, the cl during class trial, they alone will be executed. If the blackhead is not exposed, the remaining students will be executed. As a reward, the surviving blackhead will be forgiven of their crimes and allowed to leave the island. The body discovery announcement will play as soon as three or more people discover a body for the first time. Destroying any property on this island without permission is expressly prohibited. This includes the surveillance cameras and monitors. You are free to investigate this island at your own discretion. Your actions in this regard are not limited. Additional school trip rules may be added at the headmaster's discretion. Man. Okay, so anyway. I... I'm going to wrap this part up here. So this is our little pet thing. We can't do anything with it. But it's got a... Dis you can see it's despair meter. But it's got no hope. We can't give it any presents because we don't have any presents to give it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the hell we're supposed to do. It's just kind of a creepy looking bunny that crawls around like a baby, which is just disturbing. I don't mind the bunny, like it being a pet, but it looks human-like when it crawls around and it creeps me the hell out. But anyway. So yeah, I'm going to wrap this part up here. I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.